welcome back everyone to another video now in this one uh, it originally started as me trying to uh, get the android build system or aosp build working on wsl on uh, bash on ubuntu running on windows 10 so what i really wanted to do was uh, try to find out if it was a feasible way to not switch back to ubuntu or uh, for someone who's primary OS is Windows 10 to actually have be the capability of using the bash on Windows to uh, compile uh, Android from source and how really reliable is it turns out it doesn't work like straight off does not work there are some builds that you can drive but they are like very very specific one and it will actually take you a lot and lot of trial and error to go through uh, to actually get those builds to work and at the end of the day simply installing ubuntu uh, and building on it is much faster and easier talking about faster this is how this video came to be i just wanted to see uh, once uh, everything had failed with AOSP so I already had WSL installed and I wanted to see how slow it would be when compared to Ubuntu so we fired up my basic FFmpeg benchmark which I'll talk about a bit later and we went ahead and took a look at the result at how much slower and what are the performance cost of running WSL or bash on Ubuntu uh, on Windows 10 so my test for now is basically just compiling ffmpeg and timing it uh, on how long it takes to do that and i will be doing it similarly on ubuntu as well and then we can compare the difference so uh, i have been doing this uh, same method for quite some time and seems to be working seems to be consistent and uh, I think this is a good way to test if uh, or how much faster a particular uh, system is uh, and I usually use it to test on my development boards so this seemed like a good idea so let's get on with again I'm using the official uh, documentation from FFmpeg to compile this stuff um, and uh, I have to install certain amount of dependencies uh, that need to be there and then with that done what we can do is let the dependencies be installed uh, again how much are we going to get so we were there and then we can move on to uh, actually go ahead and get the sources ready for bash on uh for bash on ubuntu uh, to compile ffmpeg so just these couple of lines i'll copy one by one at the same time and done yeah looks like it's going to take a while um let's see how we are doing on the dependency side of things still being installed so the basic idea is to get uh just about these few configs up to uh lib ass and then only the 264 part and uh, leave the rest of the stuff as it is and test how long it takes to uh, compile everything so once that is done i will be back with the results and then we'll take a look at how fast or how slow is bash on ubuntu from the actual thing okay so the results are in and let's get to it straight away uh, so these results are basically just for the configuration part where it well configures stuff not the actual build this is basically the pre-build and i timed that as well just to show you guys the difference so as you can see here uh, on uh, windows uh, wsl i was able to get around one minute and 26 seconds uh, but on the on ubuntu it on like actual 
bare bones Ubuntu it was actually able to do it in just 42 seconds uh, now this doesn't seem as much but if you consider as uh, practically half the time mm, yeah it, it 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 really adds up so what are we going to do next is to uh, go to the next benchmark and so the total compiled time for Windows was 8 minutes and 41 seconds uh, and on Ubuntu this was absolutely no surprise for me I really thought it would be 5 minutes and it is actually spot on uh, well not really spot on but 4 minutes uh, 59 seconds and again this is just above half uh, the time it would take just more than half the time it would take uh, on uh, bare bones Ubuntu so yeah that's about it you are getting very definitive uh, speed boost if you go for uh, you know a proper Ubuntu installation and that is something that I really recommend people to do rather than use uh, something like bash bash on Windows is okay for you know uh, using it sometimes if you really need to but it's not really meant to be used on a day-to-day -day basis all right so the benchmarks done it proves that bash on Ubuntu on Windows 10 or WSL is actually pretty darn slow so why is it uh, what's the main reason behind it so what i think is it's just not the uh, pu just purely not the processing power that gets damaged uh, that is causing the big gaps in time duration of the builds uh, and uh, yes perform that cpu performance is actually uh, being bottlenecked a lot by uh, the the kind of system called conversion windows uh, or WSL has to go through to convert the Linux system calls to Windows system calls to make everything work that is a major part of it uh, but not solely uh, recently Windows 10 has had very very bad uh, telemetric systems and anti-malware systems that continuously scan the disk now in latest build I have noticed a trend whenever there is a new file being created generated or whatever it may be uh, copied or whatever it gets goes through this a uh, process called anti-malware executable that is scanning every new file continuously and it really really hammers down the hard drive access speed and uh, you cannot get that much uh, you know fast response from the hard drive because when a, a, a binary file is created it actually has to go through that service malware executable to finally be written on the disk and that is something that has uh, added up to our score difference and why it, things take so much longer on WSL now this feature uh, of anti malware service executable doesn't only harm bash on Ubuntu it is having effect on a lot of processes when you're installing games or in doing regular stuff just installing files downloading files it is there and it is bottlenecking the hard drive pretty pretty darn bad so this was one of the reasons why it happened and the other one is just the conversion from uh, Linux system calls to Windows system calls so that is about it for the video I hope you like this short uh, video on why things are not really working or looking good for bash on Windows and that's about it thanks so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one